Hello guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is Sorin and today I want to clarify some ideas which I've shared in my latest video about the dawn of industry, um, which it was uploaded four or five days ago. So in this video, I want to clarify some uh, notions, which I believe I said in my late in my uh, video uh, before the event to start. Um, and I said that uh, I've uh, made the maths and I've calculated how much scrap you actually need to craft those vehicles, but no, uh, the reality is that you will not get scrap out of the battles, you're actually gonna get scrap only for defeats, but um, in reality you're gonna get some spare parts, um, ferrous material, metal actually, and the non-ferrous metal. So that's pretty cool, and uh, actually for fame points, I actually, I think I made it look a bit easy on how fame points are gi are uh, given and um, well i believe not even the most dedicated player are gonna get those big boosts i mean yeah we have like five days six days in and um, not even rank one player didn't get even 70 80 thousand bo uh, fame points uh, it's pretty it's pretty high those prices for the booster but hey i think they are at least worth it so and uh, this video is going to be focused on um, actually not the scrap, how much um, you need to have to make IS-5 and everything, but it also, uh, you also have a time, actually you can see, I'm going to craft some uh, some those uh, uh, components to show you how they work and how the interface is looking like. So um, I want to get myself the IS-5, but I don't think I can make it, I mean, we are like five or six days in and now I just got the engine components done. I mean, as you can see, four out of four. Uh, so how do I craft some of those components, you might ask? Well, if you look, uh, if you click on them, you can just see what are the requirements. 21 scrap, six spare parts and six, 16 ferrous metal. So if you want to craft a tooling. So um, you're gonna have this plus option if you already have those um, components, those materials to craft it. And you can just click on this big plus and uh, they ask you how many you can actually craft. And uh, as you can see, I already have three out, of, uh, three out of six plus one, which I'm making. And you can actually see uh, it. I'll, I need like uh, to wait another one hour, 15 minutes to a craft one and yes those things are not instant to to create um, I've calculated actually I'm gonna do the calculation later I'm just gonna explain it to you uh, just so you know how actually everything works so you can click on this I already have four so I'm gonna make another two uh, as I drag this thing because you can see I can craft up to four and add to production so as you can see now um, my total production time updated and now I have uh, 17 hours and 15 minutes to wait till everything is done. Um, after that I need to craft those fasteners or even the gun components and that's gonna be a big pain in the ass but hey I want an IS-5 I need to get it or uh, if I'm gonna ru run low on days maybe I'm just gonna uh, you can actually how to say uh, begin on crafting the IS-5 and if you don't have enough time or components actually time is enough uh, you can actually go for this T23 E3 because you just need those suspensions which um, yeah, you can get them pretty pretty easily with those um, with those comp uh, those uh, materials needed uh, maybe maybe I'm gonna go for the 23 3 who knows maybe I'm gonna get lucky and have enough time for the IS-5 this mighty Russian tier 8 premium vehicle um, so yeah uh, next one I wanna show you how the depot that's the depot that's where you can see how many suspensions engine components gun components armored components and toolings so those are the main uh, components and here are just the materials needed to craft them so yeah, as you can see I have quite a lot and uh, I've been used quite a lot so um, after that you have the battle log as you can see uh, if you won actually let's go to the first battle as you can see once you get victory actually I have more battles than I expected. Um, so for victors you're gonna get a lot of um, ferrous metal, 
some non-ferrous metal and some spare parts. As you can see, uh, they are pretty random. And um, yeah, for a defeat you're gonna get scraps, uh, 6, uh, 12, 18, 24, depends on um, which stage of the battle you are. If you're gonna fight uh, for, the, for the province, you're gonna get the highest amount, I believe it's 24 in my case, and uh, yeah, so on. It, um, it really depends, depends uh, on uh, maybe the elo rating or uh, I don't know, maybe they're just random. So, uh, once you get those components, here it's a list of, of um, how many uh, ferrous metals you need for um, IS-5. So you need 574 ferrous metals, uh, non-ferrous metal it's 202, spare parts is 373 and 166 scrap to craft an IS-5 with a production time of uh, 16 days. So um, once this event finishes on the 23rd of uh, February, if I'm not mistaken, on 24th, uh, you are still going to get uh, additional time to craft and finish your production time. Um, because this this uh, workshop is going to run till uh, the 13th of the, or the 12th of, uh, of March. So you got enough time to craft anything you need. Uh, next one is gonna be the KV4 Krevslaski. In my video I said it's the KTTS, but no, there is a difference between KV4 uh, Krevslaski and the KV4 KTTS. This one is the heavy tank, not the tank destroyer. This one is pretty bad DPM and, well, yeah, um, pretty bad compared to the TD, which have more DPM and I believe better accuracy. So, uh, yeah, to, to craft the KV4 you need 405 scrap, 247 spare parts, um, 661 ferrous metal and uh, 193 non-ferrous metal. So uh, yeah that's uh, gonna be it for actually it shows let's show um, the KV5 as well. So yeah that's what how many scrap non-ferrous metal, ferrous metal and spare parts you need to craft the KV4, Curve Slask edition. And uh, yeah, moving on to the Chieftain, you're gonna need 671 ferrous metal, uh, 160 non-ferrous metal, 240 spare parts and 598 scrap. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty difficult to get. I mean, that's a lot of scrap, I believe. Yeah, that's where it's gonna go pretty much all of that scrap and uh, yeah, you need to lose a lot or just uh, recycle all of those uh, components and to, if you want to recycle them you just click on them and you can just pick how many you can destroy and as you can see I have 41 I believe yeah and if I want to destroy uh, one it's just gonna give me seven scrap because they give you half of the price. So if they cost 15 to ma uh, make, they're gonna give you seven uh, in return if you don't destroy them. So pretty pretty decent, I believe. And uh, not but least is gonna be the T23 E3. And I forget to mention all of those uh, tier eight tanks are gonna have 16 days production time with the components, obviously. As you can see, once you get the components, uh, you have the production time for the vehicle, which is, for example, for the Chieftain, 4 days and 2 hours, 6 uh, days and 10 hours for the KV-4, and uh, 4 days for the IS-5. So, yes, you're going to have 16 days total of waiting to craft um, a Tier 8 Premium vehicle. Yeah, and the next one, the T-23 E3, this one is getting pretty, pretty cheap, uh, that's uh, going to be 122 spare parts. Uh, 38 non-ferrous metal, that's pretty pretty nice, honestly. 143 scrap and not but least 167 ferrous metal. So yeah, that's gonna be our T23 E3 with a production time of 7 days and 12 hours. This uh, is gonna make a total of 12 days of waiting to get yourself the tier 7 American uh, medium tank. Yes, the premium I believe, uh, developed in 1943. So, this was uh, pretty much all about the workshop. Uh, moving on to the um, fame points. Um, well, as I said, the fame points are pretty hard to get. I mean, 
yeah, been quite. You, see, you saw how many battles I fought, and uh, I'm almost at like 3,600. But well, I bought one um, the fi the first five uh, bonuses, so I believe in total I made something like 7,000, 8,000, and I'm still not qualifying for um, yeah for the auction. Sadly, but yeah, uh, maybe I'm gonna play with my uh, clan for um, higher higher divisions. I mean, playing on the advanced front gives you five times more um, more points, and if you're playing on the elite, you're gonna get as well five times more uh, fame points. And also, if you're fighting for a province on advanced or elite front, yeah you're gonna get uh, five times more fame points uh, and if you ask me five times more fame points is gonna be about uh, I don't know I remember I get something like 1000 per um, per province once we conquer a province we got 1200 with my boost I believe so it was yeah it was pretty nice and meaty um, so yeah five more days till the event finishes and about 22 23 days till the workshop finishes so get yourself some components and craft yourself one of those vehicle this was my video it was um, i hope it was helpful if yes give it a thumbs up if no give it a thumbs down and tell me down below what tanks do you wanna get i mean uh, yeah it's gonna be pretty pretty difficult i mean for one of the good ones i mean not not all of them are pretty good um i mean yeah they're like getting some tanks for free but they're not great i mean you can just make use of it i'm crafting guys 5 because of the higher alpha and if i'm gonna get it well i will gonna make like a review of this tank because i believe not not many people have it or I believe more of the Clan Wars vehicle have it and um, yeah I'm gonna make some reviews on this tank or maybe what I like and what I don't like maybe comparing it on Ice 3 and also my next video uh, which I really wanna highlight uh, as a flashback from this Clan Wars um, is gonna be about the 2.0 test server I really wanna talk about the HE shells I mean uh, yeah, I don't want to spoil this, just stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching, stay awesome, bye!